morning. A special guest joining me this morning, uh, Rob Thomas. Rob, we're in uh, one of the many labs here on the uh, uh, Montana Western uh, campus. Uh, you and I have been doing this for a long This is actually yeah. the first time we're meeting in a building. It's kind of fun <laughs> for me. But you've just, uh, you and uh, some of your colleagues put together Roadside Geology of Montana. Yes. And it's received some uh, some national rec. Let's talk about first off the book and then we'll, yeah. we'll get into the, the honors part of it. Okay. So uh, I was uh, a long time ago when I had hair, <laughs> I was a student at the University of Montana, did a master's there. Mm -hmm with a fellow by the name of Don Winston. Mm -hmm. And uh, I took courses from Don Hyman and Dave Alt, who originated the whole book series of Roadside Geology. And uh, Dave, uh, a number of years ago now, passed away. And we were at the services over in Missoula. And I got to chatting, chatting with Don Hyman. Mm -hmm. And uh, a couple of weeks later, I got a message from him asking if uh, I would be willing to work with him to update uh, the book because the original book had been uh, written at a time, uh, the original Roadside Geology of Montana had been written at a time that was just, you know, kind of really barely, frankly, into plate tectonics. Mm -hmm. And uh, much, much, much has changed. The book was originally, of course, in black and white. And uh, the series has gone to color. Mm -hmm. And uh, the graphics are, you know, just outstanding uh, now. Uh, we have uh, you know, the team over at Mountain Press in Missoula that publishes the books mm -hmm. are really good people. Um, Chelsea Mc, uh, McPeeny, uh, or Chelsea Feeney rather, mm -hmm. uh, who uh, does the, uh, uh, the graphics, and uh, Jen Carey who does the editing are wonderful people. So anyway, uh, uh, Don I think thought we would probably be able to pull this off you know, pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it uh, was about a five-year project, right. um, as these <laughs> things are. The book is the largest, I think, of the Roadside Geology book series books. Montana's a big state. Yeah. And uh, uh, unlike Alaska, it's a big state with a lot of roads. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, Don and I have been from Ikalaka and Alzada to Yak. Mm -hmm. uh, we've literally, you know, been everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, as the song goes, and uh, that's, I think, you know, the thing that's been the most fun for me in the process is that uh, uh, I've been able to really see Montana uh, mm -hmm. over this time period and hang out in little joints and, you know, Harleton and uh, Lewistown and places okay. like that. How do you want people to use this book? I mean, yep. what, what, what your I mean, what's the ultimate mm -hmm. goal? Obviously, you like people to buy it. That yes. is super nice. But I mean, how do you want people to use it? Uh, I think a couple of ways. Mm -hmm. um, you know, first of all, my my overarching goal uh, with everything I do is to try to interest people in the geological history uh, of the world around them. Mm -hmm. um, we're so focused on the human world mm -hmm. that uh, I think that not only is the Four and, uh, or the, you know, the four and a half billion years of Earth history, four billion of which is recorded in Montana, uh, of interest to people um, once they dig into it. But it's also, uh, during hard times, uh, I think a source of, um, I don't know, perspective. Mm. Uh, it's a source of perspective to realize that our 75 years that we get is is pretty uh, minuscule in comparison to standing at Clark Canyon Reservoir in a brisk wind, collecting tropical marine fossils mm -hmm. out of the Madison limestone, which is over 300 million years old. So that's the basics of roadside geology of Montana, but it's more than just that. We're at Lewis and Clark Caverns State Park, the lower visitor center. Turns out the caverns are some 1,300 feet above where we're standing right now. Throughout time, those caverns actually started down near the river, but moved as the ground changed. You see, this book is also a comprehensive history of the treasure state. Tomorrow, we'll talk to Rob Thomas about that very fact. At the Lewis and Clark Caverns State Park, Chet Lehman, MTN News.